Hey guys. Hey Bo. Uh, hi Bo. Flippin' physics. Ladies and gentle people, the bell has rung, therefore class has begun. Therefore you should be seated or seat ready and excited to learn about conversions. Uh yeah. No. Class, last time we talked about the fact that dimensions are your friends. friends. I'm glad that you remember, and I hope that in the interim you have played a little hopscotch with your friends. Before we do our first conversion, I need to tell you something that I have borrowed from a colleague of mine, Bill Dix. The concept of no naked numbers. No naked numbers. Whenever you give an answer in this class, you always need to clothe that number with a dimension. So class, what is the phrase? No, no naked, naked numbers. numbers. No naked numbers. It's a great place to start. There will eventually be a few naked numbers. However, this is a great place to start. Now let's move on to conversions. We're going to start with a simple conversion and then build from there. Let's start by converting 11 millimeters to meters. Bobby, could you please get us started? Don't you just move the decimal to the left two places? Bobby, I love this answer. First, you are doing magic and not math. And second, it's wrong which it so often is when students don't actually show their work and do magic instead. Okay, Bobby, let's start with this question instead. How many millimeters are there in a meter? I know that one. There are 1,000 millimeters in one meter. Good. Bo, how do we convert 11 millimeters to meters? I think that you multiply 11 millimeters by one meter divided by 1,000 millimeters. Yes, this is exactly correct. Then the millimeters cancel out and you're left with 0.011 meters. Now, do understand that this is... 1,000 millimeters equals a meter is a perfect number. It's a conversion and therefore that actually has as many significant digits as we need it to have. Now we need to understand why this conversion works. Billy, do you know why we can multiply by one meter over 1,000 millimeters? Absolutely. It's because one meter over a thousand millimeters is equal to one, and you can multiply any number by one and it doesn't change the number. Exactly. Remember, Bobby pointed out that 1,000 millimeters equals one meter, and if we divide both sides by a thousand millimeters, everything cancels out on the left-hand side, and you get one is equal to one meter divided by a thousand millimeters, and you can multiply any number by one. Uh I seem to remember using horizontal and vertical bars and not parentheses. Is that okay? Good question, Bo. Let's write it that way, too. Notice that that is exactly the same thing I'm doing here. You can write it either way because it's the exact same thing. Next, let's convert 4.2 centimeters to meters. Billy, can you give this one a try? Please convert 4.2 centimeters to meters. Let's see, there are 10 centimeters in one meter. Actually, Billy, it's 100 centimeters in one meter. You are thinking of decimeters. There are 100 centimeters in one meter. Right. Thanks, Bobby. Because 100 centimeters equals one meter, we should multiply by one meter divided by 100 centimeters because that equals one. And then the centimeters cancel out and we are left with 0.042 meters. Yep, 4.2 centimeters equals 0.042 meters. Bob, please convert 17 grams to kilograms. Don't you just divide by a thousand? I think that may be magic. Yeah, but we actually have to show our work in physics. Okay. There are a thousand grams in one kilogram, so we multiply by one kilogram over a thousand grams, we get 0.017 kilograms. Is that what you want? Yes, Bo, that's exactly what I want. That way you have shown that grams cancel out and we are left with kilograms. And when you show your work, you are much less likely to make mistakes. Oh, one warning before we move on. Please do not write your fractions side by side. Please write them vertically. If you write them side by side like this, it makes it so it is much harder to determine what dimensions cancel out. So again, please always write them vertically, not horizontally. All right, let's make it a little bit more fun and include a fraction. Bobby, could you please convert 14 meters per second to kilometers per hour? Uh, what? Just one piece at a time, Bobby. Start with meters to kilometers, then we can deal with the seconds to hours. Okay. If we multiply by one kilometer over a thousand meters, that will cancel out the meters. Bo, what dimensions are we left with then? We are left with kilometers per second. 
Right, kilometers per second. So then we need to convert the seconds to hours. Billy, could you give it a try? Don't we need to know how many seconds there are in an hour? 3,600. 60 seconds in a minute, 60 minutes in an hour, 60 times 60 is 3,600. So 3,600 seconds in one hour. Thanks, Bo. You're welcome. Actually, in physics, it's quite common to convert back and forth between hours and seconds, so it is useful for you to remember that there are 3,600 seconds in one hour. So then we multiply by one hour over 3,600 seconds. Actually, this is a pretty common way to try to solve this problem. Notice that we end up with, on top, kilometers times hours, and on bottom, seconds times seconds. So this is actually a kilometer hour per second squared, which is not what we were going for. All right, so instead we need to put 3,600 seconds in the numerator and one hour in the denominator. Yes, that way the seconds cancel out and we are left with kilometers per hour. So what do we get for an answer? 50.4 kilometers per hour. So Bobby, our answer is 50.4 kilometers per hour? Yeah, that, that's what my calculator says, 50.4 kilometers per hour. Okay, 50.4 kilometers per hour. Sig figs. 50.4 has three sig figs, and 14 only has two sig figs. When we multiply, our answer should have the least number of significant figures from our nouns, which would be two. That rounds to 50. And how many sig figs on 50? One. And we need two. Oh, so you just put a decimal after the 50. Ah, like this. Unfortunately, that decimal often gets overlooked or erased like this. So I don't suggest that you do it that way. Instead, I suggest that you use scientific notation. Bo, how do we express 50 with two significant figures and in scientific notation? 5.0 times 10 to the first power. Yes, so 14 meters per second converts to 50 kilometers per hour. And in order to write 50 with two significant figures, we need to write 5.0 times 10 to the first power. And of course, our dimensions of kilometers per hour. Let's do another one. Bo, please convert 12.2 millimeters squared to meters squared. So we need to multiply 12.2 millimeters squared by one meter squared over a thousand millimeters squared. In other words, one meter squared equals 1,000 millimeters squared? Is that right? Remember, it's actually one meter that equals a thousand millimeters. So then one million millimeters squared equals one meter squared. Absolutely, that is correct. However, that is a specific answer for this specific problem. I'm more interested in a solution that is applicable to all other problems as well. What I want to know is how do we fix what is currently on the board to solve this problem? We need to square the whole conversion, not just the dimensions. In other words, move the square to the outside of the parentheses. Great, we need to square the whole conversion. In other words, we end up with one squared times meter squared divided by a thousand squared times millimeter squared. To help us understand why this works, we need to remember what it means to square a number. Squaring a number means that you multiply the number by itself. Right, so we need to square the whole conversion. However, what Bo did was to only square the units and not the numbers as well, so please be careful. When you square the whole conversion, you end up squaring both the numbers and the units. Please notice that this is exactly the same as multiplying by one meter divided by a thousand millimeters twice. Most people see it better this way. However, they are both the same, so you could write it either way. All right, Billy, what do we get as an answer then? Uh Millimeters squared cancel out, and we get 0.00001221 meters squared, which we could illustrate with scientific notation as 1.22 times 10 to the negative 5 meters squared. Great, let's do one more. Billy, could you please convert 120 kilometers per hour squared to meters per second squared? Wow, that combines 
times both the square and the fraction. Yep. Uh, first, let's convert kilometers to meters by multiplying by a thousand meters over one kilometer. Yes, then the kilometers cancel out and we are left with meters per hour squared. And in order to convert from hour squared to second squared, because the hours are on the bottom, we need to multiply by hours on the top, so we multiply by one, ov oh, one hour over 3600 seconds, oh, twice. So one hour over 3600 seconds times one hour over 3600 seconds. Yes, then notice that the hours squared cancel out and we're left with meters per second squared. Bo, what do we get as an answer? 0.00925925 meters per second squared. Great. Bobby, what is Bo forgetting here? Uh, significant digits. We need to end with two significant digits because 120 has two. Therefore, we need to round up to 0 0.0092 or 9.3 times 10 to the negative 3 meters per second squared. Great, you could leave it as 0 0.0093 meters per second squared or 9.3 times 10 to the negative 3 meters per second squared is also correct. They're both the same thing. Let's go back a moment to the beginning. Do you guys remember when we were converting 11 millimeters to meters? Bobby just wanted to move the decimal over to the left, correct? Do you all see now how just moving the decimal over actually doesn't help you to solve the more complicated conversions like we're going to end up doing in this class? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Good. Also, please understand that I will always be teaching you in a way that will help you to solve more complicated problems in the future. This is why I will always be compelling you to show all your work. Because if you can show all your work with the simple stuff, it will make the harder stuff easier. Great. Thanks. So ends our lecture on conversions. I enjoyed learning with you. I hope you enjoyed learning with me. Lecture notes are available at flippingphysics.com. Please enjoy lecture notes responsibly. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh,